Hey everybody, this is Edgejo and welcome to another video in my series on the Raspberry Pi. In today's video I want to show you how to create an SD card image for the Raspberry Pi, specifically for the Raspbian Jesse operating system using Windows. Um, seeing that most of us have uh, Windows, uh, either on a laptop or a computer, a PC or something like that, I would like to show you how to create the SD card. So first you need to prepare your SD card. Um, ensure that it is connected to your computer or your laptop and as you can see on my screen I've mine is uh, removable disk F it's where it's in and it's already got some information on it so I want to get rid of that even if it's a new one I think if you just go ahead and format that then um, you can make sure it's uh, nice and clean and prepared for your image so I'm gonna right click on there if you're using a Windows machine just right click on that and then you go down to format so you find format you click on that and you are specifically looking for the fat 32 which in my case is default yours may not be but just check um, I'm just gonna click on the fat 32 and I'm not gonna give it a volume label that's just the name of the disk that you're gonna give it and I'm gonna keep the quick format and I'm gonna say start and it gives you a warning to say that it will erase all the data please ensure that you have selected the right um, drive make sure that it's the removable drive and not your C drive your hard disk drive and then I'm gonna say OK and then it'll take a few seconds and it will format so my format says complete so I click OK and I can close that now you can see it's a nice clean image uh, and you have all the space available uh, also make sure before you do that that there's nothing you actually wanted that was on the disk make sure you've backed it up or or moved the data and so on so what we now need to do after we've prepared it we need to go and download the image so you'll find that on the raspberrypi.org website if you go to the raspberrypi.org website and you select downloads then you will see you've got the Jesse image and you also have also have the Wheezy image. The Wheezy is the older version um, for the Raspberry Pi and um, I want to show you how to create the image for Jesse. Uh, so you will go ahead and click download the zip and then you will download the zip file for the Jesse image. So to go ahead and do that I'm just going to click and show you where I've already done that. As you can see here is my my zip file that I've already downloaded and then you need to extract it so you're just gonna go ahead I've already extracted it but I'll just go through the motions quickly so you go on your zip file then you're gonna right click and you're gonna say extract all and then you will extract it to wherever you want it in my case I just want it in the same folder just so I know where it is and then you will say extract I'm not gonna do that because I already have it uh, right there I've already done that so make sure usually it'll go in your downloads folder as you can see there it'll go in your downloads folder I just created another folder just to put uh, all my stuff just to keep my files organized so I'm gonna cancel that you go ahead and extract, extract that and um, I will just cancel mine so if I just go back the other thing that you will need is the Win32 disk imager um, that you will need I will just quickly show you where to get that uh, let me go back here and I'm just gonna click on that file over there on that tab sorry I'll click on that tab over there and here you will find the win32 disk image you find it on sourceforge.net projects forward slash win32 disk imager that is where you can find uh, the win32 disk imager and then you can just go ahead and download the install file and um, then you will see we are back to this one over here and then you will go ahead and you will install that file just double click it go through the motions and then you'll have it installed so installed so then you must open it and once you've opened it it's going to look something like that and um, let me just go ahead and follow this so I'm gonna click on the um, icon over there so I click on it and then I need to go find my uh, just go to my downloads and then I'm going to find my Raspberry folder and I'm gonna find the Jesse image so I'm just gonna cl double click that uh, click on the image and then say open 
and uh, then you will see it is right there it's right there please make sure that you've got the right disk selected in my case it is the only uh, removable disk that I have the disk imager if you haven't realized it yet it's for USBs and for the SD cards so I'm gonna keep it like that and then I'm going to click on write write so I click on write and writing to a physical disk can corrupt the device are you sure you want to continue just make sure your target drive is F and you say yes and then it's gonna take a little while just to copy everything over in the meantime have a look at your uh, USB flash drive just to see that the light is um, sort of like a hard disk drive is constantly flicking if you have a light on your on your disk in my case I do have so I can see that it is flicking away and I'll just wait for it to go uh, through to the end so as you can see we are getting towards the end of the uh, disk writing the image writing now we're on 99% uh, I can just point out that it's taken quite a long while probably about 10 minutes or so um, because it is quite large it's r larger than uh, one gigabyte so you can see the write is now successful so I'm gonna say okay and then I'm going to exit this over here and now I just want to go back to the PC to my PC and then you can see now I've got um, my boot disk over there and you can see of the whole disk it's used quite a lot also what you will notice is that it only uses uh, I think it's 2 gig or 4 gig I'm not exactly sure but it doesn't use the whole um, 16 gig so this was a 16 gig uh, if you look at the start of the video you'll see it's a, it's a 16 gig with about 14.1 available or something like that and now that I've finished adding just 1.3 gig uh, on onto my F drive onto the SD card you can see there's not a lot left because it uh, only uses uh, 2 or 4 gig but in the next video I will show you how you can expand uh, when you're installing it so that you use the whole uh, 16 gig or however big your SD card is so yeah so that was successful so now to safely um, eject the SD card all you need to do is go on your uh, drive over there your SD card drive you right click on it and then you should have something that says eject and you eject and it should then come up with a pop-up that says you can now uh, safely remove it there we go uh, the the boot F device can now be safely removed from this computer so I'm just gonna pull that out and you will see the image will disappear over there I've pulled it out and now I can go ahead and install it on a Raspberry Pi and I will show you how to do that in the next video thank you for watching